Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Kyle at Crutch and welcome back to another video where in today's video we will be doing yet another best class setup. Now this setup is the BAL27 or the BAL27, it's entirely up to you how you wish to say it. But we have a supply drop so let us open this first. Okay, not very good. Anyway. Look at our character, we're all in the assassin gear, looks so good. Okay, so the class is the BAL27. You can pause it here and have a look, or you can just hold on and I will explain it. Okay, so we have the BAL27, which is the first... Oh, pardon me, i got hiccups now. Which is the first assault rifle... Assault? Assault rifle in the game. So this is kind of a beginner class, but it'll work extremely well if you're just joining the game. So we have a foregrip as our first attachment, which obviously reduces the recoil on your weapon. We have a red dot, which improves accuracy and helps you to see, because the iron sight, not very good. You will have to get around 30 kills to get this red dot. Then we have a suppressor, which once again makes you invisible to enemies' radars. So we leave once again the secondaries um, blank for combat knife. We pretty much have the same loadout here of perks as the other one. Uh, other one. <laughs> Stirred a bit there. Okay, perk 1. Low profile, which is makes you invisible to enemy UAVs. Perk 2 is peripherals, which increases your minimap. Uh, like I said in the last episode, I, uh, I said it goes from like this size to this size, but you can't see me. So it goes from... Say now it goes from um, 480p quality, like the size of 480p by 360 to 1280 by 720 so it extends to sort of a wider minimap so you can see more and it really really does help so perk 3 we have here is blast suppressor which makes you invisible on enemy's radar when you double jump when you dodge when you just do any maneuvers using your exosuit we also have scavenger because scavenger is awesome and with this gun you can go on a tear with it if you have enough ammo so for the exo ability We've gone for the Exo Cloak, which, this is customizable, you can put whatever you want on here. Um, yeah, you can just put anything. But I've got Exo Cloak because it just helps a little, I suppose. Then we've got a Semtex, because Semtex is an awesome man. Okay, that's that. And for all that, we will need the wild cards of Primary Gunfighter. Or you could just press, say, let's, let's remove that. Um, and let's remove Primary Gunfire. So... You see there, it's got like a little spades icon, just press that and it automatically adds a wild card for you. So, oh, what am I doing? So, there you go. And then we have the score streak of the UAV, which is simple, and you can add this if you want, but it does add a hell of a lot to the, uh, to the score that you need to get. Um, but yeah, that's the BAL27 class, guys. I will include some gameplay here for you guys, so you can see just how well it works, how it destroys people, and yeah, thank you for watching, and enjoy the little segment of gameplay. Alright guys, so as promised, here's some gameplay of myself with the Val 27. I've just hopped into a game now, it's just, it looks like it started a while ago, but this is the best class set that I've just shown you for the BAL 27. That is insanely good. Um, this was actually recommended to do a little gameplay segment by Danny Roberts. Um, he's on the Firecraft server, if you're familiar with Minecraft. Uh, okay. Okay. So, as you can see, it's like... For an SMG... Actually, no, it's an assault rifle. But it's... It feels like an SMG, but it's an assault rifle. And it feels too powerful to be an SMG. So, I'd say it's sort of in the center. I saw someone. Where did he go? Oh. Okay, let's get up here. Let's just take a little look around, see if we can spot anybody off the bat, and get out of here. Where are they all? We got enemies? We have got enemies. He's right there. He's right there. Did he go inside? I assume he went in. Oh, that was dirty. Damn it, okay. Well, yeah, so as you can see, it's like really powerful. I just managed to take on two people, and they both had first shot on me. So, yeah, I think it's pretty self explanatory. But I'm not doing very good right now, but I mean, come on. This gun 
It's incredible, guys. If you haven't already, give it a try. Give it a try. Uh, I promise you, you will not be disappointed with it. If you're not as bad as me, that is. But, I've played around with a few settings on this class, and for me, personally, I think this is the best. But I'm not sure what you guys think. So feel free to adapt it to how you, to your playstyle, I suppose. Um, this is entirely customizable. Uh, once again, I'm rocking the one kill streak, which is the UAV with that upgrade, which allows you to see through walls. Oh, I thought I was going to get a cheeky kill there. I don't think I was able to. So, yeah, we'll probably just finish off this round here of domination, maybe. And if I need to, I will cut it into segments for this video. But yeah, like, dude. But yeah, this is incredible. Like, if you flank around the outsides of the maps, like I do on occasion, all you've got to do is just... This red dot is so accurate on the gun. It's just crazy. And we've also rocking the invisibility thing, which didn't actually work very well there. But here we go. We're rocking invisibility, so the enemies find it harder to see us than usual. Which is really cool. Did I just take on two people? One, I think. Okay, the sentry gun there, which is going to destroy us if we don't get out of its way. I... Oh, I was going to see if I could get a long range kill for you guys, but I don't think. Right, let me clear something up. It's not a long range weapon at all. Like, it's seriously not a long range weapon, but if you are after just a gun to go around, like, if you're like me and you play with a sort of rushing playstyle, then um, I advise this weapon it is awesome. But, like, so far, we've destroyed a good few people, but we're not doing overly fantastic, but I advise you to try this. Hi. At least give it a go, because it'll be worth your while. Okay, that was, that was bad. As long as your aim's decent, if you get first aim on someone, they have no chance. Um, but if they do get first aim on you, it's always hard in this game. But that's it. That's gameplay with the weapon. So, there we go.